Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a Michigan uh, courtroom with a very confused sovereign citizen who is in the middle of a preliminary hearing. Confused is putting it mildly. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And people of the state of Michigan versus Jason Smith, 23-7458-ST. Good afternoon, Mr. Smith. You may have a seat at the table here. Mr. Smith appears today in person. He is not represented by counsel. Oh, how brave of you, Mr. Smith, to go pro se in this case. So let's see how far that's going to take you. I am real eager to see this. People of the state of Michigan appear today by Chief Assistant Prosecutor Kristen Cass and Assistant Prosecutor Emily Gunville. In regard to the matter, Mr. Smith is representing himself at this point in time. We're set for a pretrial conference today. In the interim time, a motion has been filed. We also have a jury trial pending on October the 6th. Concerning the matter then, um, did you get a copy of Mr. Smith's motion? Yes, Your Honor. All right. In regard to the matter, I think we'll handle the motion first and then we'll move on depending on the outcome to the pretrial. So, sir, how do you identify yourself? How do I identify myself? How do you want me to? What do you? How do you want me to call you? What do you want me to call you, Mr. Smith? Is that all right with you? Sure. All right. You may call me Judge Lacoste. In regard to the matter, then, Mr. Smith, we're here today on your. Well, I see an affidavit here, and I'm reading it. Um. It says here, Jason Smith was not committing any crimes or breaking any. What word is that? Actual laws? Is that what you were saying? Actual laws? What a wonderful way to self-represent yourself in a court of law, saying that you weren't breaking any actual laws. So therefore, I should be let go because, well, uh, let me guess, you don't have any jurisdiction over me. A natural man of land or something to that matter? Uh, let's go ahead and find out, because this should be interesting. As he was traveling from point A to B, not engaged in commerce, in his own property, lack of jurisdiction under the Constitution, and you have it notarized. Well, I'm sad to say this, Softard, but just because you have it notarized doesn't mean it's going to actually be a legal document. I mean, good freaking grief, dude. This isn't going to help you because the actual laws that you broke on the highway are actually going to come back to bite you in the ass. So I have a preconceived notion about what you're trying to argue here, but... You're going to need to put your argument on the record, okay, in support of your written document here today, if you would, kindly. Um, and you're, you see that black thing in front of you, that little box? That's not an amplifier, sir. It's just a recording box. So please keep your voice up. But this is your opportunity to uh, explain to me your motion and what you're arguing in support of your motion. And then when you're done, Ms. Cass is going to have a chance to respond, okay? Okay. Go ahead. Um, well, Your Honor, I've uh, obviously been in some trouble in the past. Um, and wait, let me, before we do that, before we do that, I guess I want to ask you clearly before we get started again today. Do you wish to proceed without an attorney today? Yes. Has anybody promised you anything in order to get you to give up your right to a lawyer today? No. Has anybody forced you or coerced you in any way to get you to give up your right to a lawyer today? No. Anybody tell you the courts would be more lenient with you if you gave up your right to a lawyer today? No. Are you giving up your right to a lawyer today, freely, voluntarily, and understandingly? Yes. All right, then. 
Go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead again, please. Um, well, I was traveling home from work. I believe that I was. Let me let me stop you for a second. OK, my impression and I don't want you to say here anything that's incriminating in your case at this point. Right. What my impression of what you're arguing here, I thought you were arguing that you were a sovereign citizen and not subject to the laws of the state. Is that what you're trying to argue? Well, Your Honor, uh, I suppose he could be arguing that because he did give several cues earlier that he was a sovereign citizen. So let's go ahead and find out what he has to say for himself, because a lot of sovereign citizens these days prefer uh, some other euphemistic term other than sovereign citizen, because sovereign citizens have been getting a bad name these days. Or not. I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to argue. I mean, I don't mean argue by argue. I mean, are you trying to bring up a legal issue and take a position? Well, I guess I was traveling in my property and I was, I feel pulled over for no apparent reason. I see. Okay. So this um, is, okay. Did you think it was a sovereign citizen or? No, I met with Mr. Smith and spoke to him several times. He says it's an issue of commerce is what he's told me. Okay, because I don't have anything in my file other than what the complaint says. I don't have the police report, for example. I don't have anything like that. So, well, go ahead. You tell me what you're arguing, then I, I was off base based um, on your even motion. In the, even in the police report, uh, Your Honor, um, he notes traveling. Okay, I've, I've, I've tried to get, um, I guess, what would everybody think is a... Uh, regular driver's license and I've this I I don't I don't know which way to go anymore mm -hmm. to, to, to do it you know I kind of feel sorry for this guy he seems to be genuinely confused at this point he seems like he uh doesn't know what's real and what's not real as far as uh the driver's license issue goes but I'll tell you tell you this dude don't listen to those sovereign citizen gurus who are just trying to lead you down a bad path. Just go to the DMV. Your local DMV should set you straight. That's all you got to do. It's as simple as that. At least with the DMVs I've dealt with. Other DMVs, I understand, can be a nightmare from what I understand. Like everybody thinks that you're supposed to do it, apparently. I guess. Um, Why don't you want to have a lawyer on this case? I've well, just because I don't feel like I, I, I need I need one. I don't feel like I was doing anything wrong. I wasn't breaking any laws. I didn't commit any crimes. I was. Have you have you have you applied to see if you qualify for a free one? For a free one. Free lawyer? No, no. I I like I said. I don't feel like I need one. I I. Didn't commit any crimes. Or All right. Well, um, we can do one of the several things here today, and this is for your consideration. Um, we can run this. I don't like I said, I really don't know what you're arguing at this point. And we can we can go further and, and determine where this is going to lead. But by the sounds of things. This sounds like there might be some potential legal issue that would assist that would be assisted by legal counsel. Ms. Cass? It, potentially, he hasn't cited any legal authority yet. So. Okay. So um, a lawyer can maybe help you here. Um, they have Michigan Indigent Defense Commission has an application. You can make application. Ms. Mashik would make a determination about whether you financially qualify for um, the assignment of counsel. They might be able to help you with some law to support your argument and or help you move in a direction where you can get your driving privileges back if that's the issue. But um, I guess, you know, if you want to do that, I happen to see Ms. Mashik in the back of the courtroom. You can fill out the application right now. I'll take a little recess and um, we'll see where you go with that. It can't hurt anything. You can always dismiss them later at a later time, Mr. Smith, but why not see if it's free, if someone can give you a little bit of assistance because 
this is a complicated issue. It's not something you just come into court and sling from your hip. You have to have some legal authority and support. We're gonna. It's not going to be something that I believe is going to be resolved today because you, you haven't cited any legal authority, and that's one of the court rules. You have to point out the legal law that you are relying on in support of your motion. It's part of Michigan court rules. Well, it's the, it's the Fourth Amendment, Your Honor. Was it because they uh, wanted to see your driver's license at the, the traffic stop? Because that's certainly not a Fourth Amendment violation. Because you know what? Michigan law does require that you do present your driver's license to the officer on request at the traffic stop. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But if there was something else, you might want to seek a lawyer to help you out. I mean, that's what the judge is trying to offer you at this point. Well, it's a little bit more than just coming in here and saying it's a Fourth Amendment, okay? So this is what I'm getting at. You don't get to just say, well, I'm not a lawyer, so I'm not going to comply with the rules. There are rules. Do you want to see if you qualify for a lawyer? Sure. All right. We'll have we'll take a recess in your case for now. I think it's a good idea. Go fill out the paperwork. Ms. Maschick, do you have an application back there for him? Your Honor, I guess I would just want to make sure, though, if he does qualify, that the court does not assess any fees at sentencing. As the court has indicated, it would be free. Um, well, um, I understand that. So bottom line is let's see what happens here with that. And, um, yeah. See if you qualify. I don't know what his financial situation is at all. You can have a seat in the back of the um, somewhere back behind the bar, if you would, please. Smash it. Just remind me of that. Yeah, something tells me that even if he does qualify, he's going to have the lawyer around for a short time and uh, try to get the lawyer to do something illegal in this case. But the lawyer is going to end up saying no and then end up getting fired. Well, that's just typical sovereign citizen BS. So at any rate, guys... Uh, if I see any more on this case, I'll let you know, and I will see you on the next one.